Let's work with some string functions. Now, to begin with, we're going to generate a brand new report here. Same database. So we're going to go File, New, and a standard report. And we're going to navigate up, and we have it under My Connections now, our extreme. We're going to get Employee and Employee Addresses. And we're going to verify the links. All good. And we're going to finish this up. So they'll appear on the sidebar. Now we're going to remove the print date. Don't need it. Within the details, let's expand our database fields, find employee, and let's get our first name. And let's get our last name. Okay, that's straightforward. But what if I want full name? I actually have to do a formula for that. Now, it's actually called concatenate or join. Let's go down to our formula fields, right click, let's do a new one. We'll call it full name. Now, depending upon the database experience that you have, some databases need a formula called concatenate. Others just do a plus sign. Others can do an ampersand. Let me just move some things around here and collapse some elements. Now notice under functions we have quite a variety of functions and there's some type conversions but under operators we have strings and notice we have concatenate. Now I'm going to double click the concatenate and I don't get much on the screen. I'll try it again. You're thinking, well, it's got to be more. No. The ampersand in crystal reports means concatenate. So let's build this. Let's do first name, the ampersand. Now I want to have an empty space here. So I'm going to do double quote, space, double quote, another ampersand, and last name. Now let's verify that no errors and let's bring that in let's see if it works and it does now what if I want the first initial of the first name can I actually extract out of a text string one character well let's go to our formula fields and see let's do a new one We'll call this first initial. Now what we want is we want to extract the first character from the employee first name. So let's bring that down and let's do a left function and notice it turned blue. And when it turns blue here it means, guess what, it is functional. Now I am going to do a rounded bracket, oops, for some reason it's not wanting me to do a rounded bracket in there. I'm going to have to pause for a minute. And there we go. So the left, out of the employee first name, and I only want one character out of that. Hopefully that makes sense from the left side just extract one character. Now let's verify and let's save and close. Let's bring that in and let's preview it. And it works. So based on that could we actually build an email address? Well let's try this. Let's go down to our formula fields. We're going to right click. Now we're going to start with, of course, the left, which we know is simple. And then the field is going to be based on the first name. And then one character out of there. So that's the first part of it. And then we know 
that the ampersand joins. So let's do an ampersand, double quote underscore ampersand, and the last name. Okay, so it will be their first initial and their last name, and then what? Well, then we have to add an, um, another ampersand, and in double quotes, the name of the company. Whoops. That didn't want to take that. Ampersand. Let's do our double quotes here. And the at for an email. And it's extreme. So let's have a look here. This is the first part. And it will be joined with that. And then employee last name and extreme.com. Now it may look quite long and I have forgotten another ampersand in here because I need to join that text character. Let's check the formula. Interesting. And let's save and close. And let's go back to design and bring the email address in here. And let's verify. And it works. Now, what else can we do? Well, uh, let me change the page orientation here. We'll do a few more. I'm going to go to my file and page setup. I'm going to change it to landscape just so we can see all of our different formulas on the page. And we've got some space over here. So let's do another simple one. And I'm going to do upper. I'm going to get the employee's last name. But I want to change it. I want to convert it to uppercase or lowercase. Well, we come to the front. We call it lowercase or uppercase, a rounded bracket, a rounded bracket. Check the syntax. And let's bring that in. And let's have a preview. So similarly, we could do lowercase. Now we also have a function called trim. Now what trim will do is exactly what it sounds like. Take away so many characters from a text string. So I could tr trim the first three characters or the first four characters out of a text string. And that's the end of the presentation. <laughs>